All right, now we got a bunch of area around here to look. So hopefully we can turn up something interesting. I'm at my grandparents' house right now in Strasburg. And hopefully this rain will hold off. The sky, as you can see, isn't looking great. But we've got all this debris to flip. And I wouldn't be surprised if we found a nice big rat snake. Because there is all kinds of critters around here running around. Lots of mice, big food source for these things. And a lot of good things to flip, as you can see here. Let's see if I can actually manage to flip this thing without it breaking or something. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. This is going to be some really bad quality editing. That is heavy. Nothing though. Lots of rodent burrows though. Well, oh, looks promising. That's for sure. But yeah. Fine rat snakes around here. Occasional copperhead. And probably my favorite are the ring neck snakes. Because down here, this is the only place in Ohio that I've actually seen them. So. Maybe we will have some luck today and come across something cool. We're not sure of things to flip, that's for sure. So, we got this tart that mice have chewed, uh, chewed through. And it's great because underneath it, you can see we've got all these rodent tunnels, which is fantastic. Nothing yet, though. Oh. Let's get some luck today. That would be great. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and flip a Throw this stuff off cam because we'd be here forever if I was to do it all on cam. But yeah, wish me luck. Alright, under one of these bricks I managed to find a nice little eastern garter. Not real happy, deeply in shed, but it's a snake nevertheless. Biting me all over, but me fine. It's raining a ton, so back you go. And I'm gonna keep looking. Alright guys, rain held off for a bit. It was just a little patch of rain and the rest should miss us. So, I'm going to head up top, and there is a ton of things to flip, and a large number of snakes in the area, so I'm going to get some better shoes on than these sandals, and hopefully we can find some snakes. large centipede. No snakes yet though. Got a real big rock here. Come on. Not seen anything.
rocks up here. To start off this little trip. First spot, nothing much. All right, guys, officially made it up here for that long hike. But this is probably gonna be my best bet at finding any snakes. It's definitely gonna be up here. So I'm gonna try to get some on-cam flips, but chances are pretty low for that. So I'll give it my all. Now, what would truly be a treat today would to probably see a copperhead, which is a very uncommon species of snake to come across up here in Ohio. So, I'm gonna flip some off cam rocks and hopes that maybe find something cool. So, I'm gonna get to it. There's a mouse, which means there's a pretty good probability that there are snakes too. So, speaking of, there is a little eastern garter hiding out in this tarp here. Still a little guy. Pretty cool to come across though. Get to go ahead and get some photos and get the release. First snake. Second, I guess. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give this little garter the release. Right down there. Ants everywhere. So far, nothing really of too much note here. There's a snake. <laughs> Garter. Little guy. Uh, bite me. Here we go. Third snake of the day. Back he goes. Neat. But, no black rat, which is, for some reason, most elusive snake for me personally <laughs> since I never see these guys for some reason either way a couple things to flip I'm gonna head on my way but first big board oh come on that was absolutely perfect looks like I'm getting a bit wet the looks of it I went the wrong way Oh boy. These things have never produced, but maybe today will be the day. There's a ring neck. There he is. No. He got away. I don't know where he went off to. No. That was a ring neck right there. Oh gosh, man, that sucks. Or maybe I can just find him right here. There he is. Got him. Look at that. Beautiful tail. Let's see if I can get him out here. He's pretty big. Not sure if I can get him out though. He's stuck in all these weeds. Can't believe I just found him again. It's pretty crazy. There we go. Let's see if I can get this in focus. That is a beautiful little. Northern ringneck, one of the bigger ones I've seen. Out of shed too, real great shape. Look at that. Whew. Northern ringneck. Finally, got one in hand. 
Neato. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get some photos of this guy and put him right back on his way. Don't want him to regurgitate his meal. Still got that ring neck in hand, but I'm going to go ahead and give this stuff a real quick flip, see if I can find anything under here. Flip this piece of metal, if it'll come up. Oh, that looks real good, though. See if there's anything on the other side. Come on. Come on up. Doesn't look like there's anything under here anyways. But we do have a bunch of the styrofoam here. That usually doesn't have much under it. But I said the same thing about that door, and I found a ring neck, so... Maybe it'll be a little bit different today. Not for the styrofoam, though. Still nothing. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and find some more things to flip. Last one. Nope. All right, guys. Well, it was maybe two minutes, and right on the other side of this doorway here, I flipped this other piece of trash and found a milk. Look at that. That's what I like to see. Not real happy, but out of shed. And a beautiful one at that. Would you look at that? Nice milk. <laughs> I still have this ring neck, but we don't have too much time here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put these guys in a bucket. Do not worry though. It will be released directly after. I get some photos and some more video, but yeah, what a great start. Amazing. Look at that. Two of my favorite species of snakes <laughs> in Ohio. Back to back. Look at, you, look at that. All right, well, I'm gonna get going again. Try to get some more flips. And maybe a big black rat, I'm hoping. That would be amazing. So, see what else I can find. Now I didn't fully check under this thing, so I'm gonna give it another flip and look under some of this other stuff here. Because we got this tarp here. Doesn't look like there's anything else hiding under here, so I'm just gonna put it right back. Now, let's look in this pile of mess. This might take a minute. All right, got our next spot up here. And these tend to be pretty good for milks and garters and ring necks, hopefully. Would be really nice, but I might have to flip these off cam again, so I'll see you guys after this is done being flipped, and hopefully we'll have a snake in hand. All right, got our next spot up here. And these tend to be pretty good for milks and garters, and ring necks, hopefully. Would be really nice, but I might have to flip these off cam again, so I'll see you guys. After this is done being flipped, and hopefully we'll have a snake in hand. Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Now I missed another one. There were actually three garters, but these are some giant snakes. Holy crap! <sighs> Covered in spider webs. <sighs> Big adult eastern garters. I saw three, but hey, you know what? Two more to add to the count. <laughs> That's more like it. All right, I've got a few more flings to flip, so I'm going to go ahead and get an in-hand photo of these two and release them. Neat. All right, back these two go. Under their 
black truck bed. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can flip this maybe. Hopefully get another snake. Maybe I can flip this. That's a big freaking bee right there. All right, come on. Nothing under that one. That was an open bottom one, so I don't know. This has got a whole lot of mulch in it, so I'm not gonna be able to flip that. We do have some rocks, though. Which are pretty good for milks, so that looks decent. I might flip through that in a minute, but for now we got a lot more things to flip, so I guess I'll go do that real quick. That's all the farther I'm flipping that thing. Onward. Well, I definitely wasn't expecting it to go this well today. That's what, one, two, three, four, five, already six snakes in hand. That's not bad. Still missing that big rat though. I'll even take a smaller rat. I just want a rat today. <laughs> If I'm being honest with you guys. But I don't know if that dream's going to come true. This doesn't look that flippable. Oh yeah, it'll flip. With nothing under it. Alright, well, to the next spot. Alright, well, it's come to my attention that I've actually not looked over here and probably one of the most rot snaky looking spots here we got hay which means there's rats which means there's most likely rat snakes in here somewhere so i don't know we'll give it a shot that's for sure yep that's a snake ah, look at that <laughs> It's not the rat though. It's definitely not the rat. Cranky garter, that's what that is. But it's another snake to add to the count. Not real happy with me. But, look at that. All right, relax, relax. You're gonna come with me, stop biting me. All right. That makes snake number seven, I believe. And an angry one at that, so. Back you go. I've seen enough of you lately. Let's see, how long can I last before I inevitably... <laughs> no, and no. Gotcha, there we go. Two more snakes to add to the list. Couple more garters. <laughs> These guys are everywhere. Garter gang always follows. Look at that mess of garters. So that makes my snake count up to nine. Nine snakes and three different species. All right, well, you know, more to add to the list, and another wasp that just flew past me. <laughs> Either way, got a couple more snakes. Look at that. Let's uh, put that guy back and put these guys right back under their tote. Under you go. Here we go. Nice. Let's try this one next. Come on. Oh. Well, I got him somewhere. I'm not sure where he is. There is another snake. Oh, look at him. There we go. <laughs> Ten snakes. Another big eastern girder. Check it out. Tons of snakes. All right. Let's flip this back. Go look at this guy. Nice looking snake. Big 
adult eastern garter. Number 10, going back under the tote. All right, now let's try to get to this one. Oh. All right, nothing under that one by the looks of it, so. All right, well, pretty successful. I'm gonna go ahead and look over here and hopefully we can get a couple more. And maybe, keep saying this, maybe a rat. I don't know. I'm hoping. Let's get to it. All right, now under this tarp, there's 100% a garter snake. Let's see if we can find it. Come on, old garter, where are you? Got him. Oh, I don't got him. Come on. I see you. Here's his tail. Come on. Come on, buddy. Get out of there. Set my phone over here. See if I can grab him from under. Hey, I got him. Didn't think I'd be able to actually manage that one. Whew. Look at that. Garter again, ow. So that's snake, snake number 11. Not a rat snake again. <laughs> All right, well, you know, it's another snake. Let's see how many we can get today. Look at that. Cool. Back under you go. There we go. Gone. One flip for good measure. Nope. All right, snake number 12 for the day. Can you guess what it is? It's another garter. And this one is a tiny little hatchling. Real pretty, but still not what we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and release him right back over here. Just like that. Gone. Come on. Come on. Come. I'm gonna flip this one off cam. All right, well, hopefully we can find another snake today. Another garter, number 12. <laughs> Little guy. Really, really pretty one though, I gotta say. Real nice. Back under his board. Maybe find another one on cam here real quick. Under the rest of this junk here. No. This dude was in the freaking ant nest. I don't think you're gonna do real well in there. Ha! <laughs> Number 13. Let's keep rolling. <laughs> I'm gonna move this guy out of the ant so he doesn't get eaten alive. Maybe, I don't know. I'll move him relatively close by, right here. Not a real good looking one, so we'll release him right there. In hopes that maybe under this little tote here, maybe we'll get a black rat snake. I don't know, maybe that would be mighty fine. Will we though? You will in fact not, but there's a big freaking garter. That's another, I don't know, maybe three footer. Oh, not even gonna bother with him. That would make, that makes snake number 13, maybe, or 14. I don't know, I've lost count now. It's, I don't know, I'll have to look back at the footage, but yeah, possibly 14. So, I don't know. 14 snakes and no black rat snakes. <laughs> All right, now we used to sort chinchillas in here a long, long time ago, but for the last how many years, I don't know, we have just sort of abandoned it. After my grandpa got cancer, so maybe, there will be snakes in here. 
<laughs> be kind of wild to see a big rat snake in here somewhere. But, I don't know. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get back there. Either way, crazy to see. Let's go back out. See if we can find anything else. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, another garter. I, this is number, I lost count. I don't even know. It's not a black rat. <laughs> garter number 14, 15, one of the two. I don't know. I lost count at this point. It's, it's too much. <laughs> All right, well, back you go. Adios. See if there's any more under this thing. I don't understand why I'm not finding any black rat snakes. It's like they're not here. Well, I'm gonna keep at it for a little bit longer. Maybe, I hope. I'll give it a shot. Keep on going. Here we go guys, it's everything we wanted. Garter snake, number 16. Oh my God. I've seen enough of you today. Oh my gosh. Back under your tarp. Holy, look at this thing. It's freaking giant, whoa. That is a massive wolf spider. But you know what it wasn't? The rat we've been looking for all day. Might be, might be my last two opportunities of finding big black rat snake. No for number one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. A mole. Okay, maybe I'll keep looking. I swear this snake eludes me every single time I head out here. Always, always. Jeez. Maybe one day, let's look over here. Oh, I've already flipped all this stuff. When I say I've flipped everything, I mean, i flipped everything. Okay, that might be an overstatement, but still. I flipped enough things to find 16 snakes, 14 garters. Ohio, home of the garter snake. And all of the ants, apparently. Oh my God. Where are they? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. At this point, I'd be happy with one more ring neck. One more ring neck would do it for me. That's it, you know. One ring neck is all I want now. Oh, oh man. Maybe, I don't know. Ah, wow. Alright, decided to flip this again because I felt like it and found another garter. <laughs> so that makes my snake count up to 17 and 15 garters. Actually, it's a really pretty one. Got a really nice pattern. Ignore the poop. <laughs> off you go. Let me wipe that off. <laughs> God, I hate that. It's so gross. Alright. Check that out. Oh, that's a big toe. That's the biggest one I've seen. He's gone. All right. This is really what I wanted to show you guys. Snake skin of some sort. Let me see. It looks actually pretty fresh. Let's see. That is a garter snake skin. You can obviously see that stripe going down the length of it right here 
So yeah, good size garter. But yeah, always cool to see a snake shed. I used to collect this stuff, but ended up throwing it away. So we're gonna leave this right back over here. Right there, why not? <laughs> Either way, maybe we can find some more, but sun's going down. All right guys, it's getting late, sun's going down, but we did pretty good today. Got 15 garters, an Eastern milk, and a Northern ring neck. So that brings our, kink, our uh, snake count up to 17. Not too bad. That is one off my record, and I'll take that. So, I'm gonna make my way down this long stretch of road, and I'm gonna meet up back with my family, spend the rest of Father's Day with them. So yeah, not a bad day. I'm gonna head back home, and I'll see you guys later.